Hi guys and welcome to the channel. I am Marv and this is Readings by Marvelous Madame Sorrell. This is going to be your third installment of the Venus and Leo inspired love reading carrying you through August 13th through August 20th for the beautiful sign of Leo. Okay Leo, I know a few of you what's been going on. Leo, everything you need is below in the description box for you and your collective and in the pinned comment. Let's get started. I'm going to be pulling three of these, okay, giving you a little bit of commentary about intuitive commentary regarding the things that I see. Then we are going to go in with clarifying each one. Then I'm going to round the, the reading out at the end with messages from spirits, okay? Let's see what is going on with Leo in their transit. This one got their name on it, spirit. This is for Leo. Okay, let's go. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Heart place, codependency. Addictions are affection, affecting your romantic life. Religious factors. Your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. I'm already picking up on some things. This is a union that is steeped in we only work when we're in honeymoon mode. This is a union that unfortunately in the heart is a lot of push and pull back and forth. I'll mess with you when I want you type of energy, which is not good. This is a relationship or situation that um, has a lot of uh, differences as far as who you guys are. This person is completely different than you. Completely different. This person is the type of individual who um, it could just be what it says, which is religious factors, Leo. But I'm feeling like this individual is an individual who definitely is different from you. And I, the very first thing I find is you guys were raised differently. Even down to the environment that you guys live in. It's completely different. Um, there could be a codependency here again affecting the love life. The relationship only thrives when we're in honeymoon mode. Um, this can mean a lot of things, but intuitively that's how I'm looking at it, okay? What do we have? We got sadness. So yes, how are you in honeymoon mode and you're supposed to be in the happiest time of your life? In an energy where everything is new and shiny and fuzzy and cuddly and we do this and we do that, but you're sad. Because there is something that is not being revealed here. And I think that this is an energy where you can't come around me unless we're in this mode. Like we can't handle or we can't do anything serious or we can turn a blind eye to the problems and only focus in honeymoon mode. It could also mean that one of you guys are traveling and meeting people while you're traveling and doing things while you're traveling. It could mean all of that, okay? In the past, yes. So it's very clear with both of these fives that uh, this person feel, be, feels betrayed, um, Leo. You to them or them to you, but we read from their perspective in these readings first. Um, or this is the, the energy around you. So if you're noticing weird behaviors or anything, it's because this person feels left out in the cold and betrayed by you, um, either when you go on these trips, um, because honeymoon means a variety of things. Um, but I feel like that, and I feel like there's no working together. You guys are not on the same team. You guys are not on the same page. There's definitely two different agendas here. And third party energy as well. So um, the honeymoon um, phase, it feels like you're working with everyone else. They feel that you're working with everyone else but them. I had some of that, I believe, in your weekly reading too. I feel that I had that um, in your weekly reading. Why is codependency here? Um, someone is definitely has addictions um, around family life. Someone is so wanting to move toward this happy life and this illusion that we're so happy that there's a lot of addictions that lie beneath this. OK, so there is 10 cups. They do love you, 
But at the same time, something that's lacking in this love, especially if it's clarifying codependency in the past. Yes, there is this ability to shower you with love and affection in order to even get in order for them to feel like they that you even love them back. I feel like they do all this shit. They, they feel like they need to in order to make you happy because they love you. But in actuality, they're chasing you. Um, because of the codependent, they don't want to be the alone. And that is why, um, the code, their codependency is creating, is affecting this relationship or this situation. And when we look at the top of the deck, we're looking at burden. So it's a uphill battle to even maintain this love because it's steeped in addictions and codependency. It feels like they don't feel loved unless they're kissing your ass or, chasing you now you can feel this way about them but that's up to you reverse it if you need to you guys are definitely different why is religious factors here yeah you guys are not the same obviously no one is but um uh religiously you're not the same um you were up you were brought up differently and your your spiritual paths may be completely different so there's constantly this energy it feels like with chariot energy, you have the will to decide whatever you want. Someone that's constantly in an energy of do I stay or, or do I go? Because they really, they've never been in a relationship like this before. They, and you, maybe you've never dealt with somebody like this before, Leo. But um, there's a constant uncertainty. Do I stay with this person? Do I not stay with this person? It could be on both of you guys' behalf. You know, in a, in a state of constantly reassessing, am I going to just get a return on my investment here? Like, is this ever going to happen? What exactly should I do here? And that's what I'm seeing, Leo, with this seven of pentacles. Top of the deck does show the stress. Look at that. Ten damn swords. Victimized. There is a lot of... Th this is a situation that truly needs to come to an end, honestly, because... If you're and, and if you're uncertain more than you're happy, then what's the po what's the point? I think someone here loves the chase and loves getting their ass kissed and the attention and the other person doesn't get anything back. Money issues is definitely a big thing here in this relationship. OK, there is fun times, but at what expense if there is money, um, money um, issues? All right. Getting to know you. Well, obviously, there's a, a hidden agenda here. There is no really getting to know the other person if one person is the chaser and one person is the runner. Given the gift, this is also, again, this is another byproduct of the money issues. I can't ask you out and buy you all of these gifts, but somebody could have given the gift as a peace offering and not showing, you know, how, what they're really going through financially. And then we have maybe the potential to happen is there. So there's always this constant energy of do I stay or do I go? Take the leap is in the past. Have faith and trust in yourself. Um, again, I did feel third party uh, situations with that three of pentacles, but um, just with the energy, not necessarily that that's what it means. At the top of the deck, we do have lust. Exactly. So this is regardless, you know, yep, there we go with the should I stay again. There's always uncertainty. Obviously, the sex must be good or the intimacy is good. But, you know, outside of that, what remains? What remains here is the fact that you guys are different. That's what remains. That's it. You guys are different. And again, somebody else had this. And I'm sorry that I don't know who that person is, Leo, right off the top. But somebody else had this where it was an energy of if you're, if you're this different from a person, then you need not stay. You don't have to sit back and constantly put yourself in a position where you have to deal with something that you don't understand or something or someone that's so damn different than you that like it's not worth it. It's not worth it. There is somebody for everybody is my philosophy. And instead of staying in a relationship, arguing with somebody to be who the hell you want them to be, I think that all adults need to get to a point where they're like, you know what, this isn't going to work. And then chuck the deuces and let's ride. OK, we can stay friends. We can get together and do what we do. But let's take commitment off the table. 
That's that's what it is. Let's take commitment off the table. Can we do that? Some people can do that. Some people can't. I'm telling you right now, um, Leo, that this person loves you. I don't think I think that this person is so wrapped up in trying to become a happy family with you and, and be with you that they could be the ones that's different, you know, and they want you to look past their differences and just love them back. I do not think that this is reciprocal. Like, share, and subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. Everything you need is below in the description box for you and your collective Leo. This concludes your reading, and I will see you next week when we do it again. Drop a like side in those comments and let me know if this is what's going on with you. It's like every month it brings a new flavor. I can't, see what the fourth, can't wait to see what the fourth installment of this reading is going to bring. I'll see you then. Bye, guys.